The term bionic conjures up visions of science fiction fantasies. However, bionic systems, which combine engineering and robotics with biology, are becoming a reality nowadays. It is also known as biologically inspired engineering. It's the research and design for an engineering system, as well as advanced technique using biological methods and systems found in nature. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence, varieties of robotic have come out one after another. It's reasonable for researchers to anticipate more appealing technologies. Origami technology is always an excellent choice when it comes to designing a compact and lightweight adaptable system, which was inspired by the Japanese origami craft. The reason is that, when compared to conventional robots, origami robots are able to achieve complicated kinematic motions that other robots cannot achieve, especially folding behavior. Features like lightweight, compact, and compliant make the robogamy a novel design in both the military field and the civilian field. In addition, micro-air vehicles with the properties such as low mass and tiny body become the main motivation for today's design of such vehicles. Those inspirations have many stem from the flying insects. In fact. Most design of the flapping wing micro aircraft vehicles are based on deployment wings. That's the reason why, when engineers trying to break new ground in the robotic field from the bionic side, are caught by the ladybird beetles. According to their observations, the beetle's wing is capable of deploying extremely quickly and bearing much heavier load than itself. And this results in a specific geometric shape, as well as the deformation of the wing within the wings. In this project, the mechanism behind the little creature are able to motivate a series of design of the bionic-inspired deployment aircraft. It's wonderful to connect the natural science with the humanities, and to explore the secrets behind the ladybirds. Apart from that, from my own perspective, the dynamic behavior of the beautiful beetle, as well as the secrets hiding in its tiny body, really spark my interest. In contrast to birds, insects' wings are almost membranous, without muscle and bone. Hence, in order to achieve the proposed properties, they must rely on their wings' intelligent patterned structures. The wings resilient as well as the wing. Which are usually responsible for different parts of the insect behaviors. On the basis of the proposed knowledge, this project has delved into the investigation of the folding mechanism of the ladybird wings from a biological perspective. First, a three-dimensional model of the ladybird's hind wings, with outline as well as the internal structure matching the rear hind wing, has been created on Autodex 3D Max. Based on the analysis of the model, a highly logical and realistic feeding process has been designed. Obviously, the creases on the ladybird's hind wings have a great influence on its feeding mechanism. That is, during folding, the hind wings demonstrate a pattern with three convex and one concave fold, called classic Murat Ori pattern. Based on the design, the simulation of the ladybird wings folding process have been implemented on SolidWorks software. In the animation, we can clearly see that at first the wing is at rest, the beetle flexes its abdomen beneath the wing, pulling the wing inwards to fold along its natural creases. Then it folds along two creases that are slanted from the bottom edge towards the front. This nudges the wing tip inwards. Next, the wing folds again along the next two creases that run from the wing's bottom edge to the leading edge. Then the back half of the wing is drawn up underneath the front half, and finally the outer elytra are completely closed, and the ladybird completes the building of its wings. At the end of the 
demonstration, I would like to offer my sincerest gratitude to my supervisor, Professor Chen Dai, and I would like to appreciate the King's College Electric Laboratory Systems for facilitating me with required equipment on time. Thank you.